James Wilhoyt will kick off. And Alabama's Crimson Tide leads the 117 NCAA Division I teams in kickoff returns. This one will go right by Brandon Books. And we go down to Tracy Wilson. He told his team in the past, and he's told them again this year, you do not become a man until you beat Alabama. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Tracy. Spencer Pennington, his third start this season as the quarterback. He hands it off to Kenneth Darby. It is out to the 25-yard line. He's very confident, very excited, and threw the ball very well in the warm-ups. Fumble picked up. Here goes Tennessee. Paris Harrelson. So here's Tinsley. He has returned to this season. Oh, boy, they got in on that one. Good penetration. And this is off the side of Freeland's foot and will come to rest after being touched at the 48-yard line. Here's the audible now from Eric Ainge. D'Amico Ryans, who led this team in tackles a year ago, including one game against Arkansas when he had 25. Here's Ainge back. Lobs it over the middle. Chris Hannon cannot get it. Flag is down. Late flag. They might get Anthony Madison for this one. The pass interference foul occurred less than 15 yards from the line of scrimmage. Therefore, it's a spot foul. It's still a first down. Leader career now in number of punts, and this one is sky high. That almost gets as high as the upper deck. And the fair catch is uh, taken. Thing, that went higher than it did far. I'll guarantee That's you right. that. I don't know what I'm more surprised about, that upset or Timmy B breaking out the banjo coverage. <laughs> Here's the pressure. They get the punt away. Freeland, fair catch called by Derek Tinsley. And it comes at the 42-yard line, a 38-yard punt. That, quite a moment for an 18-year-old. Quite a moment for a 26-year-old. And That's that picked. one is picked off. Yep, sure was. In and out of the hands of Tony Brown and into the hands of D'Amico Ryans. First down and 10. Here's the handoff to Kenneth Darby down inside the 40 to 38. I'm just thinking about something that Eric Haynes told us yesterday. Luan McLean is in at fullback now in front of Darby. Leads the way left side. Darby breaks into the secondary, and he's got a, an Alabama first down at the 34. And see, this is what Alabama has done successfully this season. They've got to hit a few passes. They don't have to throw it 30 times, but they have to pass with some effectiveness. Here's Pennington, and there's an effective pass. Into the hands of Clint Johnson, number 88. And uh, boy, will there be noise in the system mm. in Gainesville this week. Wow. Here's Pennington, play fake. Deep left corner, pro throws wide open. Has to wait forever yeah. on the ball. Oh my goodness, they had six. Alabama, 16 rushing touchdowns coming into today. Here's Castile. Make it 17. Bangs over for the score. Danny Martz, number 79, pulled and led the way. Yep. Third and 11. This is another third and long that uh, Alabama has forced Tennessee to confront. Handed off. Riggs wide open. Deception play. A hold is going to bring it back. Wow. Tough penalty. It's going to go on Aaron Sears, the right guard. Alabama should get great field position here. Here's Dustin Colquitt. This one, a good one. Great and kick. What a terrific kick out of bounds right at the 40-yard line. 50-yard mm. punt. D'Amico Ryan's got an interception that led to the Alabama touchdown, and the Crimson Tide has the ball. Here's Darby. Gets a block in the corner. And then uh, surges across the 45-yard line. First time they've shown this all season. First time they've shown it in this ballgame. Darby. Might be enough for another first down. Across the 50, it is as Kevin Burnett, number two. On third and down, third down and plus six. They run 51% of the time. This time they throw it and Prothrow's got the first down. Wow, nifty bit of running after the catch by Prothrow. Pennington has completed four. And he hands it off to Darby again. Darby breaks through. Hefney is up around the shoulders to make the tackle, but a fine piece of running again taught on first down. And as the quarter nears its conclusion, Alabama threatens to score again. 
slip it to the fullback. McLean breaks a tackle. First down inside the 20. That brings on Brian Bostick, the uh, senior from Coleman, Alabama, 34-yarder. He's 8 of 11 for the season. Alex Fox will hold. Drew Lane will snap it back just to break the tie. Five of six from this range of the field. Good snap. The hold is down and the kick. Perfection. Sexton picked off by Matt Robinson, 18 yards. Wake with the lead, 7-0. All right, thank you, Tim. Third and five here. Flip complete. Tony Brown, that's a first down at the 32-yard line. Gain of seven. And Colquitt will uh, punt it. Away. Line drive, poor punt. Bounces at the 30, gets a great Tennessee roll, but a chance for the return. Block in the back. Yeah, this one's coming back. That was an obvious block in the back. From the 13, first down and 10. High formation behind Spencer Pennington. Johnston, the tight end, in motion. And here's Darby, almost broke it. Second down and six, gain of four on the first down play. There's the pulling guard, and Darby out to the 19-yard line. And for more on Spencer Pennington, let's check in with Tracy Wilson. Trace? Yeah. Like the... Like you and I are. Yeah, get out in the aisle. We hunt for barbecue restaurants. Turkeys. That's what we <laughs> Darby showing a little elusiveness and out to the 31. Well, four wide outs, one running back. No tight ends, and Pennington, the quarterback. Quick setup, comes out of the backfield, and that one is to Ezekiel Knight, number 84. And I don't believe he got enough. No, I think he's going to be a hair short. He's inside the 25-yard line. Tinsley moves up, grabs it, avoids the first contact, has some room. Here we go. Looks for blocks, gets him. Down at the 29. 21. Quick setup. Down to the right side. Swain makes this catch and gets out of the tackle and moves it down inside the 20. Really an effective blocker and pass receiver out of the backfield. There's the inside run. Touchdown, Tennessee. Jason Swain, who grew up in Huntsville, Alabama. Well, because uh, Hefty mucked a punt last week in Ole Miss, they made the change to Derek Tinsley and whoa! Contact is made. There's no halo rule this year. No, not at all. Football. So uh, that was a legal play. One of the kicking Colquitts. Father, uncle. He's got a brother who's on the team as a freshman now. And this one is going to be out of bounds and marked there at the 27-yard line. And Jason Allen, an easy play for him from his free safety spot. Second consecutive three and out now, forced by Tennessee. Here's Derek Tinsley, backs up and grabs it at the 14. Heads left, Ezekiel Knight slips, and the flag is down at the 25-yard line. So, But that 45-yard return by Tinsley cost them the lead in this the football game. The receiving team was holding during the return. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Looks like... Uh, now let's see if they come after it. They have blocked two punts this year. They've got the return on. Colquitt straight Another up short and short straight one. down. Very, very short. And this one. Boy, he is. This does not look like the Dustin Colquitt we've seen. He Big question there. The health of Matt Jones had the groin injury last week in the game we did. Now Corey Larkins is back to return the punt. And how about that? They got it down at the one yard line. Wow. In college play, it's the ball, not the player. And Great Tyrone effort. Prothrow was down there to make the play. He caught it, and then he threw it back before he went into the end zone. Now nope. they're, they're calling it touchback. I, I thought they would. And then Tennessee came back with a, a tying touchdown. They took a 10-7 lead. And the punt return just might be the big play of the first half. It Absolutely. Derek Tinsley. Two good defenses. Field position is critical. That means your special teams. 
Alabama doing a great job covering punts coming into the day, but Derek Tinsley, the 45-yard return, gave Eric Gaines the short field, 21-yard touchdown pass to Jason Swain, and that's why Tennessee has a 14-10 lead here at halftime. Let's go down to Tracy, who's with Philip Fulmer. Now the touchdown specialist, short yardage specialist, Jabari Davis, is on on this second down and 10. Here's Ainge. Fires it for Tony Brown. He's got the grab at the 36-yard line. Davis still in as the tailback. And here's Ainge with time. Man coverage right side. Man open right side. Catch Great is made catch. by Jason Swain. Great catch by Swain. Over Ramsey Robinson. Will Hoyt had one of the biggest field goals of this season, a 51-yarder to defeat Florida. Our first game on September 18th, but you can see by the numbers, he's not having a great year. This is from 40 yards out. It cuts just inside, then uh, <laughs> looked like Chris Schilling. Had a lot of movement. It's good. Mike just still <laughs> upset they didn't get that third and one. Here's Freeland. And a nice punt. Fair catch is called for and taken by Jonathan Hefney, number 33. And at that point, they had 53 total yards. Their opening drive of the third quarter, they went 57 and got a field goal. Here's play action. Eric Ainge being chased. Pulls up, fires it. Big play. That's caught by C.J. Faton, number 17. And off. Houston. To the 50. Best run of the day for Tennessee right there. It's bizarre. Yeah, it, it kind of is. Here's Ainge, pulls up, drills it too high, almost intercepted. Flag is down. Oh, Anthony Madison was called for interference in the first half. Pass interference, number 17 of the defense. Finley is first down at the spot of the foul. 17-10, this is the sixth play of the drive. Gerald Riggs back in. Here's the freshman, Eric Ainge. Finds a receiver at the 22-yard line. That's Jason Swain, who has a touchdown catch. All right, Tim, thank you. 17 to 10 here on the handoff. Here goes Riggs. There is a flag as Riggs is tackled at the nine-yard line by Roman Harper wow. and Anthony Madison. What a tough penalty. It's going to go on Chris Hannon, I think, the wide receiver. Anderson is the fullback. Ainge right side, Jason Swain. Oh, he did a nice job of avoiding the tackle just long enough yeah. to pick up a first down. Big game for Jason Swain so far today. And off to Gerald Riggs going right. And down at the uh, six yard line. Cornelius Wortham, number 16, made the tackle. Play clock, they just do beat it. Here's Ainge under pressure. Tim intercepted. What a play by Cornelius Wortham. Oh boy. Two turnovers today, both interceptions. Here's Pennington back. Left side drills this one. Big completion right yes, there. Yes, it is. After the 20 yard line, Tyrone Prothrow, number four. Alabama has not passed for more than 100 yards in a game since Brody Coyle's injury. Here is Darby breaking a tackle. Oh, what a run. Fights outside the 30. Darby. Look at that. Again, if we can look at this from behind Ken Darby, I mean, this. The thing that he does is he has the ability to stop and change direction and make unblocked guys miss him. He's nailed. The catch is made by Knight. Ezekiel Knight at the 40, but it's a yard short. And Kevin Burnett nailed Knight, or nailed uh, Pennington, rather. The greatest hits of Kevin Burnett. And here's Freeland's punt. Corey Larkins is back instead of Derek Tinsley. And I'm reminded of what Dave Rader said. There's nothing wrong with a punt. This one's short. Bounces, though, and gets a uh, Tennessee roll. Inside the 35, down at the 34-yard line. A 47-yard punt. First down and 10, Alabama trailing by seven. 
Spencer Pennington will throw. Good protection this time across the middle. That one's caught by Castillo, and he breaks a tackle and then is rudely brought down at the 43-yard line. Second half, averaging seven yards on each first down. Here's a reverse. Keith Brown going right, gets a terrific block from Evan Mathis and flies down the sidelines. They might call holding. I don't think that's a flag. I think it's oh. a shoe. Spencer Pennington, 11 of 23. This team yet to throw for more than 100 yards in a game under either Pennington or Gillen. Here's Darby, cuts it nicely and spins. What a terrific run. <laughs> Boy, that was something. It really is. In the eye with two tight ends. Five defensive linemen again for Tennessee. Two fullbacks. Castile's the deep man. He gets the ball. And he's got a first down on second effort. And again, they stay with the same two backs, McLean and Castile. It's play fake. Pennington, pro throw, looks for a block. Gets a little bit of help. As Wesley Brent was out there, but it's third and three. Darby back in as the tailback. It's Darby with a handoff. Gets a terrific block and cuts down to the 18. 92 yards for Darby. First down. That's McLean, the fullback. Pennington, modest play fake. He's in trouble. Now he can't take a sack. And he fumbled. And it is recovered by Alabama, but oh dear. And if you see Mike Shula on the sideline, he's saying, throw it away. And Spencer Pennington took the sack. Couldn't find a receiver. Bostic from 47. This would be a season long if it's good. Got plenty of distance. He got it. That cuts the lead to four. Dustin Cole quit to punt for the seventh time, averaging just under 40 in this game. What they're saying is rather than let the Alabama defense beat us, we want to make Spencer Pennington beat us. That, that's the odds that they're playing right now with that kind of call. Here's the snap. The turn is on. And Brandon Brooks comes up, does not uh, get a chance to catch it. That's Chris Hannon who lets it roll to the 28-yard line. As a boy growing up in Fayette, Alabama, I can only imagine that Spencer Pennington fantasized about this moment. A chance to lead the Crimson Tide to a come from behind victory at Tennessee. He's going to have to hit another one to put his team in a chance to win. Draw play. Darby nailed. Evan Burnett. Jesse Mahalona stuffed the play. Second down. They'll give it to Darby. He comes left. And he runs into Jason Allen at the 49 yard line. It'll be third and short. That's a gain of 10. They're not into a hurry up offense yet, but they need to speed up their tempo. J.B. Klausner is the center on third and three. They'll keep it on the ground, and there is a fine defensive play by Omar Gaither. Fourth down. From the spread, it'll be a five man rush for Tennessee. Pennington goes for pro throw, and he was open. There's going to be a roughing the passer, though. There's going to be a roughing the passer on Tennessee at the end of this play. This is all or nothing for Alabama on this drive. Play fake, screen pass, left side, Castile. Another great defensive play. This one by Jonathan Hefney. And Tim Castile is hurt. I mean, he got his legs cut out from under him, and he uh, probably took a helmet right on the thigh on this play by Hefney. Pennington back. Good blitz pickup. Goes deep. It's intercepted. Picked off by Tennessee. Corey Campbell, number 26. Final play of the game coming up. Philip Fulmer got doused by Kevin Burnett. <laughs> I think, you know, he said it's just an ordinary week. Yes, it's the Alabama game. But he has been, that's his daughter Allison, giving him a, a little peck on the cheek. <laughs> it can't help but have affected Philip Fulmer to be the topic of so much print and broadcast journalism in Alabama.
Homer back in July decided not to attend media days in Birmingham upon the advice of his attorney. He was concerned that he was going to be served with a subpoena in one of the many lawsuits that uh, have uh, been filed in the aftermath of this probation for Alabama. It was a $10,000 fine left on the university by the SEC. And uh, you see that? Wow. Yeah. 1713 Tennessee wins it. They go to six and one and they maintain control of their own fate. They have to go to South Carolina next week and then they come back to take on Notre Dame team here.